Treasure in the Field, a Vietnamese folktale. Once there was an old man with two young sons on a farm in Vietnam. The mother of the boys had died. Since the old man had to tend the field, the boys took care of the house. That is, they were supposed to take care of the house, but they were lazy. Often the father returned home to find that nothing had been done. He even had to cook dinner. What have you been doing all day, Ta? He would ask his oldest son. Studying, father, and thinking, Ta would reply. And what have you been doing, hi, my young son? The father would ask. Watching the house for you, hi, would answer. A neighbor asked the old man, are your sons helping you? Oh, they would, the father answered, but they are so young and they miss their mother. Some years later, the neighbors asked, aren't your sons helping you in the field? Oh, they would, the father replied again, but they are still young. I will let them enjoy life now. They will help me later on. As the years went by, it became clear, even to their father, that the boys were lazy. Though they sometimes tended the field with him, they always made excuses to go home early. Finally, the father grew too old to work, and he took to his bed. The sons were sad, for they not only depended on their father, but they also loved him. One day, he told, he, one day, the old man called Ta and Hai to his side and said weakly, I have a secret to tell you, sons. Bend close. Hai and Tai, Ta learned, leaned over to hear his secret. Before your mother died, the old man said, we learned that there was treasure buried in the field. It's still there, but you must, you must dig for it. The sun's eyes widened. Treasure in the field, Ta said? Where is Ty? Dig for it and you will find it, said their father. But promise me that you will share it equally. The sons promised and hurried out to begin. Day after day they dug. Their neighbor was astonished to see how long and hard the young men worked. As Ta and Hai, they felt stronger and better than ever before. At last, the entire field had been dug, but no treasure had been found. The brothers moped around with their heads down. Finally, an idea came to Ta. The land is ready for planting, he said to his brother, and our rice is almost gone. You take one half of the field, and I'll take the other. We'll tend to it just as father did. The days passed and the seedlings grew. In due time, the field gave an abundant harvest. There was rice to eat and rice to sell. When the sons took the rice to the marketplace, it brought a good price. Excited, Ty and Hai ran back to the house and approached their father's bedside. They dropped coins into the old man's hands. Look, father, said Hai, we have sold rice and brought you gold. Yes, said Ta, just as you said, the treasure was in the field. The old man smiled. They had learned his secret. I love that story. Okay, number 16, which best describes the father in the story? Come on, some new hands in the back one. Yes? Wise. He was very wise, yes. How many, did anyone have something else? Number 17, at first the father ignores his son's unwillingness to do work in the field because B. His sons are young and they still mother. Yes, he, he's kind of making excuses for them, but they are young and they do miss their mother. So that's why he ignores their unwillingness to work in the field. Did everyone have that answer? Yeah. Number 18, read these sentences from the story. In due time, the field gave an abundant harvest. There was rice to eat and rice to sell. In the first sentence, the word abundant means, yes? Plentiful, did anyone else have a different answer? Abundant is plentiful, more than enough. The rice in the story is a treasure because it, yes, 
because it was sold for gold coins. How many of you had C? Did anyone have a different answer? Okay, that became the treasury because it was sold for gold coins. Which statement best describes why the story is a folktale? Which statement best describes well, let's look at A. Is it about people and events from the author's life? Is this? It's yeah. not from the author because this is a folktale, a story that's been retold over and over. Is it about a real event if it's called folktale? No. No. Is it about people from a faraway place? It is about people from a faraway place, but that's not what makes it a folktale. So what's the answer? It is about the lives and beliefs of common people. Okay, at the end of the story, the boys had learned their father's secret. What is the father's secret? Use details from the story to support your answers. Okay, who wrote something? First, we should all know we repeat the question. So we start off with first we indent, as of course you all know you're fifth grade. So we indent. Okay. What is the father's secret? Who wrote something? What did you write? You didn't write anything? No. What did you say? Two. Well, his secret wasn't just to plant the rice and earn money. You could read yours. I said their father's secret was that they needed to do stuff and help to earn money. I think that is it because when they dug the field and planted rice, then sell some rice to earn such getting money. Very good. That was good. I think the father's secret is that he wasn't so worried about the boys being lazy in the story, was he? Because I think he knew all along, what did he know? He knew a way to get them to what? Work. work. To work. And how did he get them to work? To plant it. To plant it. To say that this treasure the field? To tell them that there was a treasure in the field. Was there ever a treasure in the field? No. no. So the treasure is to get the boys working, right? And get them ready to plant the rice? If, he, if the father just said, boys, go dig up the field and start planting rice, would they have done it? No. So why did they go out and dig it up? Because they wanted the treasure. They thought there was a treasure there. So what was the father's secret? Father's secret. Father's secret. 